Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations. And the next couple days in my life are going to be kind of crazy. If you're new to my channel, I'm a first semester nursing student at the University of Tennessee. Currently, it's November 22nd, 2021, and I have two exams today, and then I have one tomorrow. So in the span of two days, I have three nursing student exams. Yeah. You can imagine that this week has been very hectic trying to get ready for them. I still don't feel ready. So the first one today is at 9 a.m. and that's in pharmacology. And the second one is in foundations at 1.30 and then tomorrow I have my foundations proctored ATI exam. And then I'll be on Thanksgiving break and we're gonna go up to Ohio, my family and I, so I'm just so excited. If I can just get through the next 28 hours, I will be golden and I know I will get through it. It's just, we'll see how well I handle all the stress because it is so stressful you guys nursing student exams are just woo man I just got out of my farm exam I am so happy I think I did well I feel a lot better about it than I did on the last couple exams so that's good and I'm just kind of walking around clearing my mind and getting ready to take another exam in foundations I'm gonna go to the library and then I'm gonna start studying for foundations just gonna do some light reviewing and Hopefully this will go by really fast and I'll be done so I can focus on another exam tomorrow. I survived probably the craziest day I've ever had in nursing school and I still have one more exam my ATI tomorrow it's the proctored one and if you guys don't know what that is or you're not really familiar with nursing school the way they do it is either universities will do HESI or ATI my school does the ATI and they're kind of similar to NCLEX style questions they're supposed to be a gauge of how well you're learning the material in a class and it sort of mimics the NCLEX. They're always unnecessarily hard and sometimes you click the answer and then it says no that's not actually the answer. The most correct answer is this. So it is definitely a bit frustrating. They both went pretty good I think. I am not sure about my scores yet. I've been told that we're gonna find out our farm grades tonight. So I'll definitely let you guys know how I did if I get them tonight. And then for foundations I should probably know tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm thinking tomorrow. For now I'm gonna be studying for ATI, doing practice questions, maybe some Quizlet, and that's pretty much it. I just checked my exam grades and I am so excited. I've never been more excited for an exam grade to come out. In pharmacology, I got a 97. Oh my goodness. This doesn't even feel real. I thought I did a lot better than I did in the past exams. I've just been getting kind of low Bs, but I got an actual 97. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys and yeah, I got an A on my pharmacology exam. It's been kind of a struggle getting pharmacology because it is such a hard subject for me. I don't know why, but I'm going to see you guys tomorrow because I have been bouncing around the house for about the past 10 minutes now. Good morning, everyone. I woke up at 6.45 and it's maybe just five minutes later. I'm actually still tired and I don't know why. I went to bed around 10.30, so I definitely got over eight hours of sleep, but man, I think I just need to sleep all day to catch up on sleep because nursing school... Unfortunately, the average I've been getting is around six hours. I am gonna read my Bible, I'm gonna get ready for the day, and then I'm gonna just do some practice ATI questions. So I have this content mastery series book that the school gave us, so I need to go through some more of that because I have a feeling that I haven't done quite enough yet. I mean, I've done a lot of questions, but I still want to do as much as possible for before the actual exam. And it's at 1030, so I don't have too much time because i got to drive there and everything and get settled. But I do have about an hour. going to give it my best because I really want a good grade on this. 
Okay, I am at the parking garage and I got my computer. Oh my goodness, it's freezing. Wow. So I got my laptop because they said you're not really allowed to bring backpacks in. I heard that it's okay, but in the email it said not to, so I'm just going to do what the directions say. And then I got my coat. Technically not supposed to bring this either, but it is freezing outside and I am not going to go walking around campus without a coat. Got my mask. And then I got a number two pencil in here. And the most importantly is my driver's license because they said you need a government issued ID to take the exam. So this is really official, you guys. The ATI is very strict on those things. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna take my Apple Watch off because you can't have that either. I will update you probably when I get back and let you know. Well guys, that did not go as good as I kind of wanted it to. I ended up getting a level one and there are four levels. There's level zero, one, two, and three. And unfortunately, I got a 2.5% out of 5%, so they gave me a 50 for it because that's just the way they said it would work. So I'm gonna have two and a half points knocked off my final percentage grade. It is all gonna work out. This isn't a huge setback. It's, it is what it is. I've gotta move on. There's a reason behind this. Maybe it teaches me something that I don't really know right now. I'm just, I'm very frustrated. And I'm trying not to be too frustrated because I know a lot of other people are in the same boat as me and it's not the end of the world, but I did want to kind of share this reality with you guys. I mean, yesterday I got a 97 on a farm exam. Today I got a 50% as a grade for my foundations ATI. Now I'm actually going to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving break and I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I'm going to vlog a little bit more of my day and just show you guys I'm going to be packing for Ohio and I'm also going to be editing a video which is very nice because I feel like I have not put out a new video in so long because my life has been school for the past two or three weeks. I've been packing up for tomorrow and I wanted to show you guys my suitcase because it is just something to see. Look at that. I've got all the Christmas things pulled out. Got some festive socks, a red hat, plaid. All of this is kind of Christmassy. Can you guys tell I'm very excited? Now that exams are finally over, I can actually start thinking about Christmas and that just makes me so happy. I am very, very excited. I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. Yeah, this is basically Christmas in a suitcase. I've been packing for three hours and we're only gonna be gone for five, four days. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.